If you're complaining about why you haven't achieved your goals yet, the first problem is just that. You complain too much. If you're not willing to work for it, don't complain about not having it. If you don't know why you haven't achieved anything great in your life yet, let me tell you why. This is why you don't succeed. Number one, you think about what it's going to cost more than what it's worth. Is your dream worth the price you must pay to get it? And my lesson, successful people don't negotiate price. They negotiate worth. Is your dream worth the price you must pay to get it? The sacrifice, the long days, the early mornings, and the late nights, the lonely roads, the effort, the failures, the embarrassment. Is the end result worth the pain? Most people count the cost, but are never willing to pay the price. Successful people pay up front, and they are paid back with interest in the future. Don't count the cost of your dreams. Understand what it's worth, and pay any price to get it. Number two, you point the finger outwards but never inwards. If you want to see the person responsible for all your failures in life, look in the mirror. The good news is, you won't have to move to see the person who is responsible for all your achievements. Take responsibility for everything that shows up in your life. The wins, the losses, the blessings, the lessons. Own them all. Financial crisis destroyed your business. Own it. Learn from it. Grow from it. Six months of your savings wiped out. Why didn't you have six years worth? Learn from it. Grow from it. Improve from it. Partner took everything in a nasty breakup. Could you have picked a better partner? Own it. Learn from it. Grow from it. It's easy to blame everyone and everything for our failures, isn't it? That means we don't have to do anything to change. Blame it gets you off the hook. But it will never get you the life you dream of. Only responsibility will do that. Take that responsibility. Number three. Your word means nothing. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you don't, you will lose respect from two people. First, the person you gave your word to, but more importantly, yourself. Every time you go against your word, you lose integrity and respect for yourself. Be someone who follows through with their word. If you can't get something done on time, be honest and open about it. People respect honesty over everything. If you have no intentions of seeing someone again, tell them. If you're struggling at work, tell someone. Be one of the rare few who are real enough with themselves and others. That is what builds respect in powerful relationships with others and within yourself. Number four, you live for other people's praise, not your own purpose. Most people do just about everything in their life thinking about what other people would think of them. They pick a job that they think other people would think is a great job. They pick a partner that they think other people would think is a great partner. They do everything based on what they think other people would think. Other people. What about you? You cannot be successful if you are living your life for other people's approval. This is not someone else's life. This is yours. And you can never live fully and reach your true potential. If you are a fraud, pick everything in life that you want. Follow your passions, not your parents. Or what you think looks good to your circle. Your passion. Chase things that are purposeful to you. It will make working on it far easier. It will make quitting impossible. Number five, you are obsessed with money, but not your purpose. The great irony is most unsuccessful people think that successful people are obsessed with money. But successful people rarely ever stress over money. Unsuccessful people do. Successful people don't gamble to win men or play the lottery. Unsuccessful people do. No successful person is obsessed with money. They're obsessed with adding value. Create something special. 
with growing and pushing the limits. Their focus is rarely ever on financial reward, but with personal pride in what they're doing. Chase the money alone and you will be alone chasing it forever. Chase your purpose and the money and fulfillment will chase you. Don't get distracted by shiny objects. Chase meaning and purpose instead. If you think you've been working hard and haven't made it yet, work harder. Work smarter. Find another way. There's always a way.